Welcome back to the Save It For Parts channel. In a previous video, I showed how you could make a working satellite dish from an umbrella covered in tinfoil tape. Now, I had a bunch of comments uh, suggesting other ways I could do this and improvements I could do or alternate ways to make a homemade satellite dish. So in this video, I'm going to try out some of those ideas and see which ones work. I'll be using a software-defined radio to listen for some of these satellites. This is a radio that plugs into a computer with a USB cable. The one I like the most is the RTL SDR blog. I usually use the V3, but they're up to the V4 now, so we'll give that a try. I'm also going to be using the Nualec Sawbird Goes. This is a amplifier filter unit that gives you a little bit better signal from certain satellites. We'll need an antenna cable, and then I'm going to be using this little PCB antenna as the feed. This doesn't do too much on its own, but when you combine it with a satellite dish, it's pretty good at getting linear L-band signals. The L-band is a microwave uh, frequency range around, for my purposes, around 1.7 gigahertz or 1700 megahertz. Now in the original video I used just a cheapo umbrella and a bunch of foil tape and it actually took me multiple rolls to cover the entire umbrella. Now that worked pretty well but the downsides were that you couldn't fold it up again like this. It was pretty much locked into place once it was covered in tape. It was a bit fragile, it blew around in the wind and it fell apart after a while. So while the umbrella did work as a field expedient satellite dish it didn't work for very long, and it wasn't really a long-term solution. Now one thing people suggested was to use the same umbrella and coat it in metallic paint. So we have some uh, stainless steel paint here. This supposedly has actual flakes of metal mixed into the paint, so it's not just a silvery color, it is actually metal, or that's the idea. People also suggested using a foil emergency blanket like this one. This is a mylar that's supposedly aluminized somehow, so it's got uh, some amount of aluminum right in the material, and we'll have to find a way to attach that to the umbrella, maybe with some spray adhesive. And then people suggested using a shiny photography umbrella like this one. So this is a, uh, a little bit larger antenna, I'll have to apologize, my cats have been chewing on the end of it here. I don't know how much of this is actual metal and how much is just silver colored cloth. So this may or may not reflect radio waves at all, but we're gonna give it a try. This thing comes with a little uh, scabbard or cover, lots of straps on the thing. And this is actually, uh, it looks like this is automatic. So I just push this button and it assembles. Now, uh, it turns out this one is not actually reflective on the inside, so this uh, is less of a photography umbrella and I think more of a sunshade, so this is probably for reflecting UV light when you're out sunbathing on the beach. Um, I didn't quite realize that. I thought this was reflective on both sides, but we'll go ahead and give it a try. If it is uh, if there is any metal in this, it will reflect both the inside and the outside, so it doesn't really matter what side the uh, metalized coating is on. Although, again, I, I really doubt there's any real metal in this. I think it's just silvery cloth, so I don't really have high hopes for this umbrella, but we're still going to give it a shot. I found an online calculator for the focal point, so with a parabolic dish, or close to it, this isn't a real parabola, but it's, it's basically a parabola. Um, <clears throat> based on the diameter, about 52 inches, the depth about 12 inches, the focal point should be about 14 inches from the back here. So our antenna should be somewhere in here. And we can always adjust this thing up or down later to see if it gets a better signal. I'll be trying to detect signals from the geostationary operating environment number 16 satellite, goes 16 or goes east, it's off that away to me. And that's a pretty reliable satellite for testing antennas because it's always in the same place. It's a geostationary satellite, so it doesn't move around relative to the surface of the Earth. It's always sending down weather data at the same frequency. So as long as your antenna is working and aligned correctly, you should be able to get something from it. As I kind of expected, we are getting nothing from that satellite. We're getting a ton of interference and background noise, but we are getting no recognizable signal from GOES-16. Now in the last video, people in the comments asked if just the antenna feed by itself was enough to pick up GOES-16. It shouldn't be because it is very small and 
This satellite is relatively weak compared to TV satellites, commercial satellites. This is a government funded satellite. They don't have extra budget for a bunch of transmitter power. And the government's uh, downlink sites have huge antennas, so they don't really need a lot of power blasting out. So this antenna by itself isn't really big enough to pick it up. Now I can already hear people complaining in the comments, oh, your dish isn't silver on the inside. Okay, let's fix that. That auto deploy never gets old. Well, you can tell I've never done graffiti because my spray painting is terrible. All right, I've got the thing silver. I was going to try doing a smaller umbrella, but I've used up basically the whole can of spray paint. So yeah, this thing uh, took quite a bit to get it covered to where I was happy with it. Okay, well, it might look prettier, although that's debatable, but is it an antenna yet? Well, it's exactly the same as before. So metallic spray paint, no good. I even put it on a tripod to try to get a better position, better aiming. We've tried uh, different positions for the feed. We've moved it in and we've moved it out, but yeah, we're still just getting that background static on the radio. And of course, the big umbrella here is even worse in the wind, so any little breeze just knocks the whole thing over. Unfortunately, I think we can say that silver spray paint, even the ones containing real metal, doesn't make an antenna. And it seems like these shiny umbrellas for photography or UV blocking aren't really metal either. So this does not make a satellite dish. I'm honestly disappointed. I was hoping this thing would work so I could be like, go, go, gadget, satcom. All right, so our last suggestion was to use some spray adhesive and this silvery Mylar space blanket stuff. So. Uh, I'm not 100% sure how well this is going to work either because, again, to me this doesn't feel very metallic. This just feels like silver colored plastic. It's also really difficult to work with. I'm trying to cut big triangles out of this and it's just ripping and shredding. So, yeah, these are very temporary, very disposable products. All right, we've got this thing covered in the emergency blanket. That was a real hassle to get that on there. That might have been more of a hassle than the foil tape. So yeah, if I had to choose between foil tape and emergency blanket, I guess we'll see if the emergency blanket works as an antenna, but it's definitely no easier than the tin foil tape. To my surprise, we are actually getting a tiny, very faint signal from the GOES satellite with this foil blanket rig. It's still a way worse signal than we were getting with the tin foil, but it is better than just the spray paint. Okay, and everything has blown over again. Well, I, I was getting a better signal there for a second, but then a tiny gust of wind came by and I lost it. Uh, that is actually a GOES signal right there. Uh, not the swooping curvy one, but the uh, slightly brighter spot in the middle and then that thing off to the left those are goes satellite signals and it is actually trying to sink in sat dump so this might work all right so we did manage to get some text data out of the satellite yeah we got some data from it that's a result and look at that we actually got a full disk image of the earth it's super glitchy and corrupted but we got something all right well i stand corrected on the emergency blanket question i did not think this was going to work and I didn't think the feed should be that close to the dish, but that's what the math said when I ran it through a parabolic dish calculator. It said to put it 14 inches from the back for a dish of this diameter and this depth. That seems way too close to me, but I guess it is a pretty flat uh, parabola. It's not a true parabola. So yeah, that appears to be the focal point for this umbrella. And even though our um, emergency blanket here is poorly done, already starting to peel off and blow away in the wind, it's still getting a decent signal. Now, if you want to try this yourself, it's super easy. You just need an emergency blanket and some spray adhesive. Um, again, the foil tape works. It's kind of hit or miss which one is harder to do. I think if somebody had more patience and time than I do, they could do a lot better job with the emergency blanket. They could cut it into smoother strips, get it glued on there better. Mine is starting to peel off. I didn't use enough glue. I ran out of that one can. So like I said, it's starting to peel off in the wind. It's getting bunched up in the middle. But yeah, if you had the patience to do a really nice job, you could do a decent satellite dish this way. There are also a couple other improvements that could be made to this. For example, 
I'm aiming basically right through that tree. So if the tree wasn't in the way, if I had this set up somewhere else, it would probably get a better signal. I'm not sure if you can tell, but the sun is also right there. So um, I'm getting some interference from the sun. Okay, I did my best to maximize the signal and I recorded for about 15 minutes. We are getting a definitely a more reliable sync in the sat dump program. So I'm running that recording from STR++ from my software defined radio through sat dump. That's trying to decode the signal into something we can use and it looks like it's working pretty well. So I've named off a couple programs and utilities that I use on a regular basis when I'm doing satellite experiments. If you're brand new to this, if you don't know what I'm talking about with SatDump and SDR++, I will throw links to all that stuff down below in the description. Most of these are just free programs that you can download. They're open source, they're constantly being updated. So they are very useful programs for doing any kind of satellite experiments, radio experiments, uh, things of this nature. And then I will put the links to the hardware down below as well, that uh, software defined radio and and the Sawbird goes, the little filter LNA that I use. I'll throw links to Amazon down below for those. I'll probably do an affiliate link, so if you buy uh, from my links, I'll get a little bit of a kickback and it doesn't cost you any extra. Always appreciated to keep this channel in operation and keep me doing silly content like this. So when I did the foil tape version of this satellite dish, I pointed out one major drawback is you can't fold the dish up again once it's covered in foil tape. It gets all clumpy and crinkly and if you even manage to smash it down flat, you've destroyed all your foil tape. So uh, basically cannot be collapsed again once it's set up. Folks in the comments last time said, well, if you do an emergency blanket and you just glue it on there, you should still be able to collapse the umbrella. Let's see if that works. Well, we definitely can collapse it. It doesn't sound very good. I can hear some things tearing as I do this and uh, I'm not so sure about the reusability of my foil liner. Uh, let's pop it back out again and see how, uh, how that looks. Well, yeah, there's definitely some tearing. Uh, there's more crinkling than before. There's definitely some damage to it. Again, if somebody did a better job than me on this, um, if they took the time to go around all the spars very carefully, use a little bit more spray glue, maybe two cans instead of one, flatten this stuff out a little better, uh, I think it might be a better long-term solution. It might survive being folded up and unfolded at least a couple times. If you did this yourself, yeah, I bet you could get one that's very portable that you could bring camping. Uh, you could bring out to remote locations if you don't have a satellite dish. You could bring it on canoe trips. You could bring it backpacking, um, off-grid stuff, emergency stuff, prepper stuff. Lots of interesting options for a portable DIY satellite dish like this and you don't even have to make it at home and bring it out somewhere if you're on a road trip and you just have the SDR and the Sawbird and a laptop or even your phone if you go to any store that sells umbrellas spray adhesive and emergency blankets you can assemble this in less than an hour I hope this has been an interesting video for everyone it has definitely been a very interesting video for me like I said I didn't think this would work at all I thought all these ideas were crazy I thought we'd get nothing out of this video and I would just wrap this up by saying, no, oh, foil tape is the best, nothing else works. But you know what? The emergency blanket works. Of course, the obvious drawback is even the slightest gust of wind causes us to wiggle out of alignment and you've lost your signal. And slightly stronger wind, this is in the next county. Another downside is now I have all these little bits of foil stuff that blew off the dish and are scattered around my yard. Check out my other videos for more cheap DIY satellite dish projects and then stay tuned to see what else we come up with in the future. I've got lots of ideas, lots of viewer suggestions, things like this that I can try out and then lots of random junk that I hoard, collect, find on auctions, find in the dumpster. Um, the theme of this channel is save it for parts. So I try to reuse stuff in creative ways that it was never intended for. I try to save things from the landfill and give uh, old obsolete junk a second life. So again, check out my other videos for things like that and stay tuned to see what else we come up with. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.